Yeah, what's going on, Motorized Bike Group and YouTube? Check out my bikes. I got some over here, but these are junk. I'll be taking all these to fuck apart for parts or whatever. That bike up there, I might put a motor on it instead of Nashiki. Or I just might fucking sell it, whoever wants it. That's just like a normal town bike or some shit. It says this other one, fucking Mongoose Hotshot. I think that's a friend of mine. Um, yeah, that's a friend of mine's bike. This big bad blue fucker is mine right here. Yeah, what's going on, baby? Still runs, too. Took it out for a spin the other day, but didn't really put any miles on it yet. Anyway, back over here. My fuck Joe Biden bike. It's a mongoose. Friend, a friend of mine online calls it a walls goose or something like that. <laughs> oh, I like your walls goose you got going. I said walls goose. That's a good one. I'm, I'm going to use that for now on. <laughs> anyway, I had to uh, rig up some more wiring here. My old turn signal box fucking broke because uh, the other one wasn't built right. It wasn't a good quality, but watch this. Full battery, okay. Got my headlight on. Ooh, hello. New radiator fan. And I got another one down here. Now when I'm flying, the wind flies into this. Blaze right here on the tailpipe. Boy, feel that cold air. God damn. Then you put your hand Back under here where the spark plug is. Ooh, nice and cool. Yeah, it keeps the engine nice and cool. You could tell I had it running today. Look at this. That was the trip to Youngwood and back. Or I should say Youngwood to New Stanton or New Stanton to Youngwood. I had to go help my fucking uncle uh, mow grass at somebody. At some old lady's fucking house, but... I'm going to start demanding more money because all the work that I fucking did, they're trying to rip me the fuck off and shit. I don't, I don't play that fucking game. Anyway, there's my mixture. Now you can't see it, but it looks like watered down gas, but that's what I call 16 to 1 ratio. I don't make it too green because what the fuck happens is the overbuild carbon goes inside your piston here and through the engine head and the spark plug down through here okay it fouls it out and then your bike don't want to fucking run my manic mechanic intake manifold this is vacuum sealed there's no fucking leaks the engine's all fucking dirty from me driving the bike trail to fucking new stanton to youngwood so yeah She's still fucking running. And look, towel pipe still attached. It needs cleaned off though, because, you know, some dirt from the fucking trail and shit. I got my Adidas sticker. Adidas. Oh, yeah. Still working, baby. To everyone out there that says, oh, those manic mechanic fucking. Hub adapter mounts don't fucking work. Well, first off, motherfucker, you gotta go to fucking Walmart and get one of them funny frame fucking bikes, okay? And I'm gonna show you something. See those three notches in the fucking hub? That is a 1.5 inch fucking hub. And I got this bitch on here so fucking tight that... This fucking part don't want to come out. I screwed the bolts in there. Now, if you get a manic mechanic part or a CB1 110 adapter from, uh, I want to say Bikeberry, it's not going to fit this fucking hub. You need the CDH power sprocket 
adapter mount for this type of fucking wheel because this wheel and the spokes is a Walmart grade fucking wheel and it's still straight I shit you not it is still fucking straight and I'll show you that right now let me see if the clutch is in okay the clutch is in if you're hearing the fan running those are my two radiator fans to keep the engine cool now watch The reason why the wheel's acting like this is because the bike's fucking heavy. You have no idea. The bike is fucking heavy. And see how the chain goes up into the chain drive? Yeah. That's how you know this shit's connected properly. Also, another tidbit. A couple days ago, this bike broke down because... Inside here, if you don't put this drive shit back in the right way, okay? Right now, I greased the fuck out of it, so look. I told you, I'm a total fucking gearhead. I know what I'm doing with these fucking bikes. But the bearing on this side for the fucking brake hub, that's why I said don't remove... The fucking, when you take this fucking dish brake cup off, don't take this fucking thing off, because that's the fucking dust cup, ca uh, dust cap cover. What happens is, when you're flying on this bitch, and you got dirt, mud, oil, water, all that shit, it'll get behind this fucking dust cap cover if it's not on your fucking bike. And you have to make sure that all this shit's fastened back inside the wheel, and the wheel ain't all loosey-goosey. What I did was I fucked up. I forgot to put the fucking the dust cap cover back on. And I just put this on with the fucking sprocket. And then I rode to fucking Greensburg. And then from Greensburg to Youngwood to New Stanton. Or New Stanton to Youngwood. Dust, oil, and fucking mud, sand, and shit got on my fucking wheel and ate the other bearings out. And then what happened was... I was coming home, and fucking, I got up by, I forget the name of that fucking church, the bike stopped dead in its fucking tracks, and the motor still wanted to go, I hurried up and shut the fucking motor off, jumped off my bike, this whole fucking wheel locked up on me, didn't want to go, so I put the clutch in, tried to push the bike forward, it like, Rolled for a couple minutes, and then inside here, the brake, the brake mechanism went, and then fucking locked. Yeah. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to carry this bitch to fuck home. And this bike is not fucking light. From all the shit that I put on here, this thing weighs like a mini motorcycle right now. <clears throat> fucking heavy. This motherfucker, believe it or not, weighs more than what the fuck that one is. And that's kind of crazy if you think about it. Right now there's my battery and went down one. It's on discharging right now because I got the cooling fans on. Now watch when I turn it off. The other one, it also stopped. When you turn it back on, they don't try to call me mentally retarded or fucking mentally handicapped or whatever Build Break Fix was saying online about fucking um, his bike build. He needed bearings or. Um, a crank pedal rod or something for his fucking bike and he was buying parts off of somebody online and he called them can some non mentally handicapped person fucking answer me you know what size bearings I fucking need 
can't go around fucking bad mouthing people like that because that's a good way of getting fucking shot. But anyway, that's what mixture I'm running. And if you can't fucking see that, I'll show you exactly what the fuck it looks like. I need to get my keys. Hold on. I'm not allowed to see what key it is. Okay, I'm going to aim the camera over here. I don't want anybody getting my uh, gas cap cover key. don't want anybody to know what make and model it is. See? That's what the fuel looks like. Looks like mostly water. That's what the fuck I run. A little more gas than fucking oil. But motherfuckers seem to do that. Not know that because they try to run their bike at fucking 40 to 1 or 50 to 1. That's why their fucking motor blows up. Because uh, you don't know what you're doing. Hmm. I don't have my tool with me. God damn it. I had a little um, hospital syringe. Not the needle part, just the part that, like, sucks up shit. I was going to show everybody what the fucking fuel slash oil ratio is, but I, didn't, I don't have my fucking tool with me, God damn it! Alright, give me a minute, guys. Zip this up. Alright, there we go. That's zipped up. Back over to the bike. Also, I don't know who the fuck makes these turn signals. But you gotta watch, because I got a fucking electrical tape on these, because these bend real fucking easily. And what happens is, I think I ran into something when I was, like, parking my bike some fucking where. There's a short in this fucking turn signal. The rest of them are all fine. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let me just put my fucking gas cap back on. Wrong way. Let's go on that way. And then turn on my cap. There you go. If you want one of these, um, eBay doesn't sell it. You gotta look elsewhere for one of these. It slides open, put your key in, and then you fucking... Anyway. Turning right. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with this one. It's not working. There it goes. Yeah, there's a fucking short in it. Yeah, it's done. And the thing is, you can't fucking open these to fucking work on them. That, that's the fucking downside to that. But they're still good. They're cheap. And fucking, you know, look at that. That's mounted on my frame. Yeah. Watch this. Turn in right. Turn in left. I'm also turning left right there. Huh? Interesting. Hey. Hey. Traffic in front can see which way I'm turning. Traffic in the back can see which way I'm turning. And then you're just turning in the middle. Because let me show you. Now they're off. Okay. And they're all wired up right here to the battery. But I'm gonna get some kind of, some other kind of fucking battery mount for this so that these two are not exposed to the elements like rain and shit. Anyway, yeah. This right here is a badass ride. Doesn't cost me anything. Okay. I don't have to do with the fucking pay your straw man tax and your fucking insurance and fucking 
um, car payment and all that fucking other shit. And then fucking anything happens to this motherfucker, I repair it myself. I don't have to take it back to the fucking dealership. And then they give you a bullshit story or why they had to give you another car. Because the other one, uh, it's ready for the bone yard. And, oh, you need to junk it and get another car. Government don't tell me shit. Okay? They don't control my fucking life. I control my own fucking life. I drive this bitch everywhere. And, to see an update on the mileage, there you go. That's not kilometers an hour. Okay? I don't go by Canadian bullshit. When this goes like that, and then hits that, it's 60 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. I don't go by uh, Canadian uh, mileage bullshit. They can go hump a dead moose for all the fuck I care. And this mileage, 2,365.8 miles. That's how you read that. And it's like I said, when I'm flying on this fucking bike, I'm going to show you. I'm flying on this fucking bike. I'm not like everybody else. I don't. I don't. I don't have the bike tuned to where it goes. Or you people with your Phantom eighty five, and then you think a, an even smaller sprocket's going to make it go flying faster. No, that's not true. You people only do about like a thirty six sprocket or fucking thirty two. That's not fast. I'll show you fast. My bike goes, wah, wah, and then, wah, and then sometimes I have to wah, slow that bitch down because, you know, this ride I have, it's pretty fucking dangerous, this one here. She's my little workhorse, and she's still fucking kicking. Reason why is I don't flood the engine with a whole bunch of fucking oil like everybody else does. And build brake fix, he makes his oil so fucking strong that it looks like a fucking beer or something you buy from a fucking store, like a mixed drink or some shit. Yeah, that's good one fire way to fuck up your piston and your engine, and then you have to be changing pistons and then or changing the engine head out and cleaning the piston and then putting it back in. This is weed whacker fuel. That's what the mix mixture looks like. It's a very lightly colored fucking green. Almost looks like piss water. That's how I run my mixture. And when I get a Phantom 85 engine, that'd be the same way I mix it. Same fucking color. No darker, no lighter. Right there. That's why y'all's fucking engines blow up. And then you put that rag joint shit right on here where the spokes are at. I got this bitch and it's still fucking working. And I got a fucking chain tensioner right here with a heavy duty sprocket. And look, all y'all that they are driving yours around, you let the chain flop around like this and shit. That's why your shit gets fucked up. Mine, got that heavy duty chain. And a fucking kip chain tensionizer. That's what that's called. And if you're wondering where this part's from, it's from fucking Bikeberry. But who used to make these parts was fucking Pirate Cycle. Bikeberry fucking copied them. You don't believe me? The parts on my fucking Schwinn over here. Same kip kip chain tensionizer. Anyway, I know you're all jealous of my fucking bike. If you want to know what type of radiator fans these are, this is a 12 volt, 30 amp fucking radiator fan. This is the part where it sucks the air in and blows it on the engine. Same with this one. It sucks the air from this end, blows it onto the engine. And these two fans are from a fucking computer. 
a computer that I no longer use because um, I souped that up and the fucking computer blew up. But luckily, the PC parts still work. How you like that? Thanks for watching.